Hey guys, today I've got the Moon Obelisk video for you today, and I was right, it is level 88. And look at this professor in his tennis shoes, <laughs> or whatever you call them, Converse. That's <laughs> funny. Alright, so let's see what this um, person has to say, I don't know what their name is. I must speak to you in the Zocalo. I have discovered how to awaken the last of the Astral School Obelisks. Alright. Let's go there now. And let's do the Moon Obelisk. I'm probably not going to train any spells from there. Because look, I don't have very many training points at all. I only have free. Plus, I don't want any spells from there anyway. I like who I am. I don't need to change. You know what I mean? Alright, let's go. Okay, here she is. Let's talk to her. Good, you're here. The Moon School Obelisk. I have discovered how to awaken it so its secrets can be ours. It must be bathed in a reflection of moonlight, but the pool that was here to reflect the moon is long, long gone. Now, we must use the purest distillation of moonlight to awaken the obelisk, and that can only come through magic. There is one artifact that might be of use. The moon platter. Find it in the tears of the moon shrine in Tierra de Brea. Sure, I know where this is at. No sign of the moon platter. Maybe Chow Chu Green Skirt knows where it might have been taken. Alright, let's go see if she knows. Back here, magician. The tears of the moon shrine. The tears of the moon shrine survived when the pyramid of Mother Moon vanished beneath the waters. But that was ages ago. Its treasures had long been looted. I've heard stories say they were taken into the greenstone mines. 
If you sought something from the Tears of the Moon Shrine, it is likely held by Ekechua, a deathless moon skull spellbinder. Ekechua dwells in the Chamber of Red Sorrow in the Greenstone Mines, and his evil has grown even in death. I would not face him in battle for any reward, so give up your quest and return to your home. Alright, let's do it. There it is, I see it. a distraction from our endless misery. Let us destroy it. Alright. Let's go. At least the uh, at least the uh, minions are easy. They're not really minions, whatever they are. Avenging Fossil Spell Quest today So It'd be cool if you could watch that too That's my new spell I just got. Oh, he's got death boost, that's good. Alright, I gotta do Scarecrow soon, cause I'm about to kinda die, kinda.
avenging Fossil didn't kill any of them. It kind of almost killed him. Alright, I'm about to die pretty much. I gotta attack like now or very soon. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Okay. Let's hope I get critical. Alright. Let's hope they don't block. Okay, he blocked. Wow, actually still pretty good hit. They didn't block, they're dead. Alright, and I still got full health, that's awesome. Let me put some traps on him. I'm saving a scarecrow just in case I need health. I'm gonna put some traps on him. I'm gonna keep up on monster in case I need help. So let me erase a couple of avenging fossils. Okay, I'll keep the horn monster. I don't need that anymore, Scarecrow. attack soon. Just waiting for another trap. Alright, let's do it. See how much damage this does to me. Wow. It got eight thousand. I'm 
700 damage with, with the uh, thing going around him right now. I don't know what you call that, but yeah. We'll just take that all away. I have that too. I'm gonna attack with Vaughn. Dr. Vaughn's monster. Here in a little bit. After I put this trap on, I'm attacking. Okay, let's do it. Finish this once and for all. Let's see if we get critical or not. guys we did it another one solo we did all three of the obelis solo that's pretty awesome I didn't do the other free the other free videos of the obelisk those weren't solo all the obelisks were solo on this deaf character Let's see what she has to say about me defeating that guy. I cannot believe you defeated Becca Chua. Take the moon platter, and may the light of Mother Moon shine always on you. There you go, she couldn't believe it. That's good to hear.
clatter. It shines with radiance from the eons of moonlight it has seen. You have but to take it near the moon obelisk. All right, guys, we're about to activate the last obelisk of the free and free points. So, here it goes. You bring the moon platter near the moon obelisk. It soaks up the moonlight and almost seems to sun. It is awake. There we go. All three of the obelisks are um, activated now. The star, the sun, and the moon. of the moon school or ours once again. You have done a great deed for the people of Azteca. Okay, guys, there you go. Now let's see what spells the moon obelisk has to offer, and then this video will be over. These are the spells. So you can get those if you want. I don't want them. Okay guys, that's all I got for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.